morning, folks, and welcome to this episode of Catch Fletch. You never know where I'm going to be. And today, I'm at the National Churchill Museum here with director Tim Riley uh, to take a look at what's going on in this place. Uh, we had a major renovation uh, when I was here before, put $4 million and turned a bunch of static displays into an exciting exhibit and converted from a memorial to a national museum. And our, our director right now, Tim Riley, has a big job to do. And Tim, I'm seeing something I haven't seen here before. What do we got? Well, President Lankin, we've just installed this new interactive exhibit. On the one hand, it, it's a chance for us to use technology to welcome groups, distinguished visitors uh, to the museum. But the other hand, uh, this is really an interactive display that we can use. Did to, you do that? Uh, we did this in cooperation <laughs> with uh, the uh, International Churchill Society and the Churchill Center Archives in Cambridge uh, in England. Uh, and what this is, is an interactive timeline where visitors, school groups can come in uh, and look at any era of Churchill's career uh, and look at original documents uh, and learn from them uh, in this uh, great interactive way. Uh, we have three of these screens and we can get uh, an entire school group to use them at the same time. Terrific, exciting. Yeah, what, uh, what's the most interesting and important thing on here, do you think? Well, you know, this is, of course, uh, to us near and dear, uh, the section on the sinews of peace or the Iron Curtain speech that happened here on March 5th, 1946. Uh, and visitors can scroll through and see parts of the original typewritten speech, mm -hmm. uh, and then we can le learn a little bit about that. Uh, we have actually a copy of this in our collection. Terrific. Is there a way to see any of the video of the speech or any of the movie of it? We have video displays in other parts of the museum, uh, but not on this particular display. Yeah, you can see what his actual words were. These were important. This was a world-changing event right here in Fulton, Missouri. It changed the course of the 20th and into the 21st centuries. Words still ring true today. Well, there are people from all over the world that, that, that talk about this museum as the best Churchill museum in the world of the seven that are there. And we're very proud of this, and I'm very proud of and pleased with the job you've done to preserve this heritage and take it into the future at the same time. So, well done, Tim. Well, thank you. It's, it's good work. Uh, we feel like we live with Winston Churchill on a daily basis here, <laughs> uh, which is usually a good thing. Yeah, usually. Just stay away from the bourbon. All right, yeah. good. Well, folks, thanks for uh, joining us today. You never know where you're going to catch me. And uh, take, take, uh, be interested and look out, because I'm going to be somewhere on this campus very soon. Well, we seem to be a little short-handed at the museum today, Tim. Uh, you need some help with this uh, with this bust. What is it? Yeah, this is a, a bust, the portrait bust, the only bust that Churchill himself ever did during his life. And we're wow. going to put it on display here in the museum. Can well, I guess somebody's got to move it over where it belongs. So, Would you please? Uh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> like I said, folks, you never know where you're going to find me. 